Hey, 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 this is the boat, Doctor. Down at the pool, I wonder, I'm trying to launch this. I'm trying to figure the best way to put it in there. Get rid of them lap lines, don't need that. Might need to use the kicker for this. Anyway, it's a nice 2022 North River Seahawk. 18 by 42 degree V. You got your diamond plate and acre shield up front. Nice point, keeps the water down, good double drainage. Dual wipers, got your window stop, horn, shallow deck, that's what you want. Paint kind of looks different, looks like a chocolate brown sometimes. I hope I got just a, a little mark. A top, side, backdrop, polish this out, rails, downrigger pads, kicker bracket, you got a T99 remote up front, you got a 200 inline V6, a stainless steel prop shaft, drive shaft, internal zinc, every cylinder zinc on the head, zinc here, zinc down there, this 99's got 11 by 7, I believe, unless they started changing the 11 by 7, look at that, 15 pitch right hand here, uh, two coats of clear, two coats of primer, a main paint, an active 3 in 1 transducer, that's my drain plug and that there drains it for your fish box in the floor. There's a shut off valve. So I'll be setting up the electronics and everything in here. And it's a 21 foot NRB North River boat, two ones, the length and the last two is a year. You got your hydraulic steering and I got myself some black tape. Ha ha, suckers. Sea start. If you get a ram saver one of those wedges that go into here always put it on this side don't put it over here because you got this wire here with the zerk fitting if you put it here you lower it down on that smacko uh, i'm gonna bust that zerk fitting okay uh you got your trim you got your pee hole and of course on the water there's your uh for your earmuffs or your flushers uh motor trimmed all the way down you should store it with the motor down too especially this time of year when you get home make sure it's stored down because in case you get a cold freeze um you don't want to blow out your gear case so just getting a half of this time of year every time you park it at home when you're done trim that motor down that way it's winterized done but if you do get home say it was running good peeing good water you got home you went to flush it out nothing was coming out of here 10 to 1 you just don't have the water pressure so i would say if the motor's still warm then you use a fresh water flush which both motors have them here and here unscrew that hook your garden hose uh, about maybe five minutes per motor um but that's only if the if it's the motor's warm and you can put your hand there if that is warm but if it's like cold cold it ain't doing any good so then you use your flushers uh sometimes if you don't have the water pressure put the flushers and those on and start it up and then sometimes put it in neutral and just got womp womp on the throttle and it could force a little bit more pressure uh but don't be alarmed if that happens or if you get to the water you start up the little kicker is going to pee out a lot quicker than this one was this will take about 15 20 seconds um and then if it does get plugged carry out like a paper clip with you unbend it poke it in this hole and sometimes you get plugged up sand pickup or anything in there if that doesn't work then you get in here and you pull that hose off of that and if no water comes out then after reaming that hose then uh, you probably got an issue and that's a buzzer would go off rpm reduction would go off uh, at 2200 so full throttle you wouldn't be going nowhere so you're gonna say I got an issue okay beautiful boat got the good antenna it's all about the antenna not the VHF remember that that's thick chrome base it probably reads the whole eight feet if you get a cheaper antenna they're a little skinnier plastic ends they only read the top third like that much that's why sometimes you can hear but they don't hear you got tan and shine guides on it gear bath oil hubs brown good white bad uh, they're ST20575R14s, about 50 pounds tire pressure cold, disc brakes on all four, double dip galvanized, two by sixes with slicks, a spare tire, two speed jack, I love those, they don't rust, you get that extra speed, you got the swivel tongue, uh, I'd put a padlock on that, down there if it was me, two inch ball with the peekaboo hole, a uh, standard flip with the p uh, pin in it, Cable instead of chains, a lot better. They don't rust, and the safety cable for your trailer brakes. So, on the inside, we'll go through the inside probably when I 
Well, we can do it here. What the heck? The boat ain't gonna like it's gonna tip over on me or nothing. Now that I say that, it probably will. Rear entry door. That's a drain for your fish box. Here's a pin for this. You just push in on that, release it. Drop that down. You got your grab handle here. Oh, this feels weird at this angle, doesn't it? I feel like I'm gonna tip over. Big box. Fish box. Uh, you don't wanna get too, too crazy on here. Here's your batteries and your switch. Turn that on. Dual batteries, there's your primer bulbs. There's your, and I'm gonna prime those up, anchor light. And then on your wash down, you got this little valve right here. Say this cap was off. If you let that valve open, water would come in here. So there's two ways you can put the cap or you can close that. And there's your switch. And that works. These haven't been primed. I gotta prime ones for the main. Probably that one that's for the kicker. There's your wash down pump. Good drain in the back. And up in there's your valve. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, but it is closed. It's in line with the. Wow, this is freaky. Make your love rings off. There's your fish. Boy, you, that's a good bleeder. And you've got the nice seats here. Little jumper swivels, Mariner suspension, Lowrance. Got a Lowrance radio, 703 control box, trim tabs. I'm gonna sit here for a second. Elite, auxiliary, auxiliary, internal lights are these here. Anchor light, wiper, bilge, horn, fuel gauge, half tank, trim tabs work. Trim works. Okay, I'm gonna go to the water and I'm gonna set up this elite and get out of this because this makes me dizzy. Hello. Oh, Dr. Hall. 